Ever wonder what to do when you are angry? How can you get rid of this feeling? Or what can you do with this emotion? Anger is one of the most socially unaccepted emotions. This is why we often thought to suppress it. Unfortunately, that approach doesn't work. We have learned to either flee or avoid our anger. We escape by consuming drugs, harming ourselves physically or simply sleeping. We avoid it by preferring not to be in situations or around people that trigger this emotion. We can also fight against it by physically or psychologically attacking others, falsely believing that it liberates us from this emotion. However, none of these methods are effective, because sadly, the emotion always comes back. Sound familiar? There's a Buddhist phrase I really like that amplifies what happens with anger. It says that anger, rage or hatred is like drinking a glass of arsenic hoping it will harm the other person, when in reality it often ends up harming us more. That's why in this video I'm gonna share 5 strategies that can help you better relate with this emotion without destroying your life when it arises. But before we dive in, just like in other videos, I want to remind you that these videos are not intended to replace psychological therapy in any way. They simply aim to provide you with information in this area. So if you feel that you need help, it's best to seek assistance from a professional. Or if you are already seeing one, always prioritize the recommendations first. Also, if you want to stay updated on how I upload information like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it if you enjoy it. Now let's get down to it. The first strategy is to recognize and accept that every emotion serves a purpose, including anger. Anger is trying to tell you something or even help you with something, so it's good listening to it and even learn to feel it in your body. For this, meditation can be helpful. Start noticing how anger feels in your body, how it feels in your chest, hands, face, stomach, neck, muscles and feet. I will leave you a link up here for you to try a meditation that with sounds. Another way to better relate to anger is through breathing. Typically, when we get angry, our breathing changes. It becomes shorter and faster. So it's good to try to bring our breathing back to a slower and deeper rhythm. I will leave you a link up here to one of my videos about calm breathing. Once you have learned how to do this breathing, you can combine it with visualization. Visualize that with each inhale, your body fills with pure golden air. And with each exhale, a gray cloud filled with all the anger you are experiencing leaves your body. The third strategy is through movement. Remember that the body is the first link in our human experience. So allow yourself to fully feel this emotion in your body and transform it there. I will leave you a video up here where I explain how to transform your emotions through dance. Another strategy that you can use to transform your anger is by going into nature. Nature has the particular property of calming our mind. If you are alone in nature, give yourself a chance to scream and simply observe that everything in life is transient, that everything comes and goes. The same goes with anger. I will leave you another video up here where I talk more in depth about the benefits of increasing our connection with nature. And finally, you can transform anger through art. Here the idea is to give yourself permission without judgment and with freedom to express or externalize the energy of anger. So you can paint, play with colors, experiment with black, red or gray, you can also write a song or story and at this point give yourself a chance to simply let your hand flow and write whatever comes to your mind. Here I don't recommend you listening to music, 
as that will only distract you and not help you to transform the emotion. But I do recommend composing music. It can be music with drums or loud sounds. And as a bonus, I want to remind you that it's always good to be compassionate with yourself. Compassion is a motivation to sh that should be present in the most difficult and challenging moments we, we face. So embrace yourself. Remember that you are there for you. And by accepting your anger, you are starting to, to embrace yourself fully. I hope these strategies start to help you relate better with anger. And if you like the video, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Tschüssi.